Visiting Thailand in the wrong season can turn your tropical dream vacation into a nightmare. And after paying a fortune for the air ticket, your accommodation and arranging a long schedule between your tours and shopping, you might be surprised by the weatherman. That will spoil your vacation and make you stay at your hotel or in closed malls. And you might be counting your days to go back home. To avoid disappointing scenarios and make the best of your trip, in this vlog we are going to give you an idea about the high and low seasons in Thailand and what to expect from each season so that you won't be surprised once you arrive the land of smiles. June, July and August are considered low season which is among the monsoon season in Thailand where the weather would be humid and rainy. In these three months, visiting Thailand is not a bad idea due to many facts. Although it's monsoon season and can be rainy but not like September since you can have many sunny days or sunny breaks even if it rains. So you can stay on schedule, visit the temples do your street shoppings, have your street food and enjoy the capital of Thailand without any bad weather obstacles. When it rains heavily, you have many alternatives to escape the rain, like visiting the closed malls, shopping or even watching a movie till the weather gets well again. Many will ask what about the south, like Phuket. Is it possible to visit the islands? Yes, absolutely. You can visit the islands in the Andaman Sea, but there are some disadvantages and besides some advantages. In low season, the prices of the tours are much cheaper than high season, so you are saving. But the waves in the Andaman Sea are high, so you can experience some rough speedboat rides till you arrive your destined island. For backpackers, low season is more preferable than the high season. After all, they like to save money and enjoy a lot and the hotels will give you much more affordable prices. All in all, these three months are good to save money and enjoy Thailand. Every time or day the weather gives you a break. November, December and January are considered the high season in Thailand and December till mid-January are considered the peak season for tourists where many travel to Thailand for New Year and Christmas celebration. The weather is dry and cool, the atmosphere is great and the beaches are wonderful to swim. The island tours are perfect every day and the waves are so smooth so that you can barely feel the speedboat ride. Your schedule can go very smoothly in these three months and you can enjoy almost everything in Thailand in this season. I guess after you heard all this, you are preparing your trip to Thailand among these three months. Well, don't rush, let me finish the vlog and decide later. Although all these advantages, 
We have mentioned in November, December and January, but what about the prices? Everything will be in higher rates, the hotels you may pay double rates and most of them will be booked due to high season. The shopping will be so crowded and bargaining will not give you too much result like the low season. The nightlife is another story. High prices, crowded bars and walking streets. Sometimes even you cannot find a seat to drink a beer. All in all, it is the perfect weather to be in Thailand. But beware you are paying much higher prices for everything. And it's the most crowded time of the year. So if you like private bars or calm beaches, then it's not your season. March, April and May are the hottest season in Thailand, when in April the temperature can reach to 40 degrees. So all in all, if you like hot humid weather, this is the time and if you want to participate in Thai New Year's festival that held almost for 3 days, which is called Songkran, the water festival, where due to the hot weather, people play with watering each other. It's a fun time to be in Thailand. September till mid-October is the real heavy rainy season. Most of the days thunderstorms monsoon winds and crazy weather. That's why I call this the bad season, where you will barely do a thing in Thailand. It's the lowest season where a heavy rain can cause a bad traffic that can kill your day and let you stay in your hotel. After all, it's not recommended to experience Thailand in this month, unless you like spending most of your time in your hotel room or closed malls. As a conclusion, you can visit Thailand in high or low season, and it's up to you which one you like, but I assure you, you will enjoy both. I hope this vlog was helpful for you and gave you an idea to know when it is the best for you to visit Thailand. Thank you for watching my vlogs. Subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.